Hello everyone, welcome back to Dungan Rompa. Let's get going. So this is chapter one, we're still in the morning and let's see. Uh, Alright, well um sorry I'm just gonna turn my volume down, it's very loud for me. Okay. Um this is the moral compass here. Uh Taka, hello. Good morning, Makoto! Good, good morning. Yes, morning. Greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Uh, sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Okay, that's all good. You understand? Yes, yes, we do. Okay. Um. Is that your door here? Okay. Uh, let's go around. I like going around here. Let's see if anyone else is here. Nope. Uh, oh wait, we were gonna find Sayaka, weren't we? We were. Okay, let's find Sayaka. And she's right next to our, our door, thankfully. Uh, that's us. Wait, that's Kyoko. Sayaka. There's a doorbell. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? Um, listen. Listen. I have a favor to ask. I can't do girl voices. I'm going to be terrible at voicing her. Um, yeah. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, okay, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us anytime. You never know. Whoever trapped us here, whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right, we never know when they might attack. So I just want to be able to protect myself, no matter what happens. A weapon. Um... Don't, don't you get that sewing kit? Oh. Well, now that I think about it, that the display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Like I said, I'm psychic! <laughs> She's seriously psychic. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. Can now teleport. Oh, using the map section, the hand of menu. Okay. To hallways and marked waypoints. Uh, yo, know, duh. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, can we go to the gym from here? Uh, wait a second. Alright, that goes down. How can we get to the gym from here? Oh, hello! Um, it's, it's Celeste, the gambler. I hope you are well. I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Give me the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm off. Hey, um... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going, we're going. Uh, let's talk to Taka, now that you're here as well. See what if he has to say anything to you. Okay. okay, he's he's the same. Uh, can I actually go to the gym from here? I want to explore. Uh, this dining room. Let's go to the dining room. Hey, uh... Okay, whatever. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Oh, this goes to the inn. Okay, that's the inn area. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try and teleport. Um. Is that where those people are? Hope's Peak first floor. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, here we are. Um. Tell Sayaka. Here we go! I might be able to find something here to protect myself with! Yes, I'm sure I'll find something in the, in the display case I can use! Uh, okay. Wait. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelf above. Okay. Uh, some terracotta clay figures? No. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a gold statue of Buddha? Good question, why is that on display? Because it looks nice? A plaque? Just a replica. Still! Covered in gold. Oh, so it's paint? Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> hmm, I didn't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? What are you saying, Makoto? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. You should get a weapon. Just in case we separate. Mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart and it makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Okay. Um. Uh, nothing much, I guess. Blah blah blah. Yes, more coins. Uh, can we go in here? Um, Is there something you need to do in the gym? Uh, not really. Okay, where do we go? Um, hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Mm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing things. Um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I, my dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on tea for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, that was her smile. 
Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing though, you were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, I need it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Oh, please don't sacrifice us so you would escape. I keep thinking that's going to happen. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swinging, swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream is in. It, is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, I don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun! But that's exactly what scares me. Uh, huh? Um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. S Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Um, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka... Why? I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds... desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying? I can't even imagine it. Uh, I'm not sure if I said uh, earlier, but I feel like because we're the incredibly average student, if I was in a position like Makoto, I would probably sacrifice myself. Um, and I would happily sacrifice myself for Sayaka, if it gets to that situation. Sorry. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, um... No, not at all. Sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? Okay. Want to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. Is that the food? You mean the condiment? <laughs> oh, she's okay, she's joking. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. She could be really fake. As all we know, she can still be really fake. Oh, so we're back here. Okay. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Uh, yes. 
free time. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend your time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents. Oh, I didn't know that, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. Oh, the more presents you give, the less likely you're going to die. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful. Hmm, interesting. We strongly encourage you to, encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Yes, yeah, so we don't die. In other words, subtext. I hope this doesn't pull like some stupid crap like Undertale, where the more friendships you make, the more likely you're going to die. Like, that's just BS. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. So it's, okay, so you've got to choose who you talk to. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. Ooh, okay. Oh, really? You can choose not to engage? But if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Wow. Okay. Um... Wow. Okay, uh, I just want to quickly... Can we go to the bathroom? Uh, yes, you should. Um... So, Sayaka... Is scared of, kind of, losing... Oh, it doesn't really say here. Is scared of losing what she has in life. Oh, you can do that. Um, but I noticed she also values family. So if she has, kind of like a family she can go to, that's not her pop. That's not her current pop style group. Then um, that will be something that will give her more comfort in life. You know, knowing that her life is independent on purely being a pop star. If she has like a, you know, like a a second home in a way. Um, I don't know. That's just my my take on that on that sort of behavior. So I guess. All right, let's let's talk to people. I'm, I don't want to spend the whole day with Sayaka, to be honest. I mean, she's really lovely. Uh, you know, how about uh, Taka? Um, okay, let's go talk to her. Um, no, we're not talking to you. Junko is lovely. Oh, okay. Uh, can we get a gift? Oh, Junko's right there. Hello. And, oh, so are you. Oh, everyone's all around here. Okay. Um, I just want to find the present machine first. Oh, hi, Celeste. Uh, I don't really want to trust you. Oh, wow. Oh, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Uh, exit. Uh, where to get the present machine? Okay. I'm gonna have to look into that. Leave the area? Yes. I can't find Sayaka. Let's talk to Junko. I like. Wait, you're not Junko. You're Kyoko. Um, let's see what you have to say. 
why is Herb's pink coming in like this? Very bizarre. Okay. Hey, Junko. Aww. Getting stuck in here is like, totally disgusting. <sighs> I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, Saika, you around? I guess I should press the doorbell. Um, you know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Saika for a while? She's anxious and afraid. That's a good reason. Are you gonna try and cheer me up? Sorry for making you take your time out of your day like this. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Um, yeah. Do I have a present though? I don't have a present! Where do I get a present? Okay, I don't have a present. Um, yeah, sure. Well, what's wrong? Why, why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just, I guess that, that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Um, um... If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'll do. I'll be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that, it's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I, I know how you feel. You think here is what saves me. <sighs> really? Oh, thank you for the flattery. Oh. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was... always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You? Wanted to talk to me? I... But since I've always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But, why me? Do you, do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale, the turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand... A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Oh, what? 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 I don't know! A huge bird. Sparrows aren't big. I don't think cranes are big. What's a heron? I can't remember. Ugh, look at a crane. It was a crane! I just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right, that's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. I should have said thank you then, but... Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favour. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we ever meet again at a train station somewhere downtown, that would make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save you me. See. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intu intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> she laughed out loud as she said it. 
the closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Lydia's voice. Huh. Is that all the time I have? No, I wanted to spend more time with other people. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Damn it, I should have talked to more people. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Today's already come to an end, but I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Saika that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her de desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into this school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her? No, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Ahem, so I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, have some, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Oh, please no one's dead yet. Please no one's dead yet. Please no one's dead yet. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, it's free time already? I just like to click on things to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, yes, let's go. Alright, let's talk to different people. Share the love around. Alright, okay, sorry, um... I need it. How do I get a present again? I'm, I'm just gonna ask on Twitter. Um, Yeah, one... Wait, flaw in your plan. If everyone is in a group of three, the witness and killer's testimony are identical to everyone else. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. Help, how do I get presents again? I need presents. I need presents. I forgot. I couldn't give one to Sayaka yesterday. I'm so devo. Oh, Sayaka again. Hello. Um, we're gonna run away from you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wow. What is this? Where even are we? And there's a lock. Uh, looks like some kind of switch. I don't know what it does. Wow, I'm just getting lots of coins. How long am I going to be stuck here? Watch by those cameras. Leave the area? Yes. Can I go to the bathroom? Uh, yes, the guys. Oh, only that? Interesting. It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. Okay, let's get out. Alright, looks like the gang. Oh! Let's talk to you. Hello. Kuda. Hello. Did you need something? Hmm. Should I talk to Sakura? Go see who else is around. Oh, hey man. Hey Leon, how are you going? Hey you bastard. What you doing, Makoto? We gotta hurry up and find a way out of here. Uh let's see who else is around. I don't like choosing between people. <laughs> Anyone in the kitchen? Oh, a knife. Interesting. There are some kind of kitchen knives hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed so many to cook. Interesting. Oh, there's more here. More cameras. Colorful vegetables have been stacked in a huge pile. There's so many different kinds, and all super healthy, I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. Yes, cracking coins. Oh, more things here. It's a jelly style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up inside. Uh, another monitor, blah blah blah. Ugh, indeed. Need the kitchen? Yes. Um. Alright, nothing here. Notification, have a game. Click on. Then you spend them in the school store. Where's the school store? Where's the school store? Side. No coins! I'm with a coin! Surveillance camera, blah blah blah. I don't want to talk to Hifumi. <laughs> it's my duty to create a product that will satisfy the various fans who suffer for their passion. I didn't have time to be cooped up in a place like this. Nope.
like a DVD player, but I don't see actual any discs nearby. The DVD player is useless by itself. You get something to watch, at least they'll hop past the time. Yes. I'm gonna spend time with Junko. Same for at the gym. It was locked at the start of the game, but should be everywhere now. Um, no, let's get a present. Go see who else is around. Same for at the gym. Thank you. Uh, let's find a school store. Wait, wrong way. Oh, hello, programmer. There's another camera, really? Surveillance camera. Okay, let's get out of here. Yes. Uh, anything new here? No. Okay. We shouldn't need to come here again for a while, but the school shop still should be around here somewhere. Can I go into the girls' bathroom? Nope, okay. Oh! Tucker is here. Sorry, I'm just gonna, um... Nice to see you. I'm, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I, I'm just gonna, um... Find the school shop first. I'm, I'm sorry. I just really need to find the school shop. That's... Oh no, this is the entrance. Uh, oh gosh, a lot of people here. Um, yeah, I'm getting out. I just want the school shop. Um, oh, here it is, store. Okay, we found it. We're all good. Okay. Another camera, another window, uh, TV. I mean, or thing. Yep, this is definitely the school store, but it has a kind of Japanese Western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. Yes, coin. Very little eleven. Right. Um. Ah, oh, here it is, Mono Mall, a vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Give it a shot. Alright. Got an item, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. What's happening? What's happening? Am I getting more than one item? What's this repeat percentage mean? Okay. Okay, let's put in two coins and then that's enough. Okay, cool. 
can we get out of here? You can spend mono coins with the mono money machine to get presents. Um, the more coins you spend, the more likely you are to get the present you've never gotten before. Sometimes Lady Luck will smile down on you and you'll get more than one present at once. Okay. Uh, do I have to spend all my coins? Uh, oh, the action thing is terrible and they got rid of it after this game. Yeah, sure. Did I just spend three coins accidentally? Ah, oh, let's just spend all the coins. Okay. I probably shouldn't have spent all my coins on that machine. Okay. Look, let's spend the day. I, uh, this, I like. I like I said earlier. I have a list of characters like more than others. Um, both. Uh, no, wrong way. Wrong way. Um, Junko is very high up the list. You are very high up the list, Chihiro. So is Taka. Um. Uh, um, look, I feel like Ta Taka is gonna die first. I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with an AI installed with it? No, we don't have the technology yet. Maybe some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future. Yeah, let's spend some time with you here though. <laughs> you wanna sit down and talk for a while? Yeah. Spend some time talking with her. To hear and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yeah. Do I only have a coffee? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. A hand bra? No. <laughs> That's something I would give um the biker Rose Whip. Project Zombie? Maiden's hand- Oh, that's something I'll give Sayaka. Green costume, I guess, school crest? Oh, that's so for Taka. What's this civet coffee? Oh, no, let's give- I'll give the green costume, because she likes wearing green. Um, why is it so complicated? I guess I could give her a coffee. Let's give her a coffee. Ah, oh, why is it so hard to scroll? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. This has made me feel a little better. Does that mean she liked it? No, no! What's wrong, Chihiro? Uh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt? No. Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? S sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts. Did it bite really be that hard? Yeah, see? Look. She held out her arm. The huge red bump stood out clear clearly against her pale skin. Um, how did the mosquito get into the school if it's all sealed up? Holy! What should I do? It's way past itching now. It really hurts. But why so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? Oh no, I was awake. But didn't you notice? No, I noticed, but 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 what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it. But it didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Cause that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but you know, it must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um. 
The skin is a living thing too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. S sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But, but don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make things worse. What? But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That will help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> but so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled like a tiny cute, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, it's a whole other level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, this school is completely sealed off, right? So how did Mosquito get in? Exactly! Well, maybe there's somewhere here in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot. A nature-y place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Or, 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 maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. Secret passage. Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get up out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right, working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just wear you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep, so let's all do our best, okay? Okay! Oh, thank you, Makoto. My maximum number of skill points has, has increased. Oh, is that all the time we have? I wanted to hang out with Taka and Sayaka. Ah, and Junko! There's still lots of time left in the day. Oh, great, okay, okay. Typing on Twitter. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's read. Uh, right. Huh, I can read about them? Okay, let's see what the hand bra's about. A bra designed to slip over your hand. It's slogan? Raise your spirit. Okay, that's really, really cheap. A whip made from real roses. Even the most beautiful roses has thorns. Who would want a present like that? A mature game designed for the fun plane, where a former runaway model takes zombies as slaves in a post-apocalyptic world. It's been out of print for a while. Available only at the Mosh Maiden Road, which is geared towards female fanfic fans. Please, please take me with you next time you go. As soon as you put this on, you feel like you can take on any challenge. It resembles a stereotypical dinosaur. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. It's a patch that displays the Host Peak Academy School Crest. Oh, so I did have a present all along. Uh, report card. Uh, so we've talked to Sayaka. Uh, the thing I remember about Makoto most from junior high was when that crane got stuck in our school pond and we, he helped get it free. I always wanted the chance to talk to him after that. Melodious voice. Uh, and where's Chikido? I know, we f I know we need to work together to get out of here, but I feel like I'm weighing everyone down. I feel depressed, but when I talk to Makoto, I feel a little better. Okay. So, well, we've got each other's trust. I probably won't talk to Shihiro again for a while. Let's see what she has to say. Out for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Mm -hmm. uh I wanna see who else is around. Sorry. Oh, she looks sad.
uh, what's it do? Oh, it's the laundry room. Oh, wow, so many things to investigate. Okay. A vending machine. Dirty clothes. Alright, found the coin. Alright, let's look at all these washing machines. Washing machine. Yes! And the coin. Yes! Success! Only two coins? Oh, come on. Okay, there's some magazines lying around. Probably to kill time while you're waiting for the laundry. Yeah, it makes sense. Alright. Okay. Uh... What's this thing? Blah blah blah, send text. Okay. Let's spend time with Junko. Hi! Hey, Makoto! Slacking off again, huh? Hmm, should I hang with Junko for a while? Yes. Yeah, I'm bored too. Yeah. Let's chill out for a while. I spent some time with Junko. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Junko a present? Yes. Uh, what would be nice? I could give her a cough. No, I'm not giving her a bra. All that. Um... Green costume? She's the fashionista. I'll, I'll see if I can give her the coffee again. For real? Aw, oh, damn, Akoto. You've got pretty good taste. Oh, good. Mm. Hope she likes it. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Yeah. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know. Oh no, we know we are not expecting anything from you. Wait, you mean- No, no, I'm not expecting anything like that. Come on. I figured, you're not that kind of guy, right? Yeah. Looking at you, I get a total Omega Veil- uh, uh, a, meg, a Mega Male vibe. Yeah. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn you into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. Okay, well... Look, good for you that you brought this up, um, and we're not interested as well, so thank you. Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's, um, so flashy. What the? They call me up super late at night and all like, Hey, let's hang! Like, I don't know what that means! Let's hang, it sounds so simple. But why super late at night? And why does Junko seem annoyed at it? Uh, I don't know what these two are supposed to mean. Oh, you just mean hanging out. Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Uh, anyway, so we all get together. But the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping creepers like that away is like a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. You do get it, right? You totally get me. I do? Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. So, uh, what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. Yeah, I think that would be good for you. Someone who will go after you and not give up. No, 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 I don't really. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. Okay. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me.
Okay. How much free time do we have? Oh, it's night time, dang it! Alright. Tomorrow, we're gonna go Taka and Saika. Okay, blah blah blah, it's the same message. The third day has already come to an end. Where will I... When are we gonna get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up! If it doesn't act now, it's them as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed! Of course! That's why Formula 1 drivers are so popular! Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow! Even a human being of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world, which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, seconds later, that was bizarre. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <laughs> I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. G another night of rest to sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. Oh, are you suggesting we nap? As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Alright, we're going to stop this episode here. Um, thank you for watching and tuning in. Stay tuned for more Danganronpa coming very soon.